a person doesn't have to look at it this deep or understand it, it the way that Advila and I do. Absolutely. Uh, so whatever level of the game you're at, the idea would be to improve conditions. And it's the story that you understand about your life and this reality matters. And so as you look at this story, you're trying to learn more about the story that you believe is a true story, not some bullshit. It's only bullshit because it doesn't fit within your paradigm. So you get, okay, now this is happening. That Okay. But yeah, now, well, how do I do this? And now you're looking for solutions to the story that you've come up with. And you find a solution that will work or you find a solution that didn't work. And you go, why didn't that work? But you're always constantly telling yourself a story. So the idea is to understand enough of the story and then use techniques that will improve the quality of your life is it, you know, a technique that is effective. Now, for a technique to be effective, it has to also do with what you think and feel and believe about the technique or the process or the method, whether it's meditation, deep breathing, energy food, yoga, or any other kind of psychic work. So uh, we always have the opportunity to improve ourselves. And we start with things like what we think, what we feel, and what we believe. And the awareness and consciousness that we are. And then there's the willpower, the determination, and the interest, and the focus. That's all. And yeah, on the same note, when we look at life, it's like a lot of people are done with this place and they want to get out so it's like what use to clear all the scrap on this part of you if it's true to you instead of just like ah oh, fuck it i want to be done you know so instead of looking at clearing all your stuff there's this take it till you make it or you just choose like yeah whatever i decide in past stuff doesn't matter it's all about current moment the personality that you have, the beingness that you have, the identity, you can choose to switch it. You can choose that today, whatever I was, it's no longer truth. You you, you delete that story, you cross it out, and you start writing a new story. What's going to be your new archetype? Your key personality that you would like to have, that you would you know, choose. You are a creator. If this is a game and you choose to play, what kind of character would you like to play? Well, this character would have this kind of personality. Maybe if you have a clusterfuck in your, in your house and there's like a lot of dirt and it's just, you know, filled with items, it's like, I would like to be tidy. Good. This character is now tidy. So you make yourself at least a few minutes a day, get up, pick something up, show it out. Clean up the house, clean a little dirt here and there. But you choose instead of, oh, well, this aspect that has, you know, issues with cleaning up, now we have to clear past lives so that it would change. No, fuck that whole story. Nobody cares. From this moment on, you choose like, well, from now on, I am no longer into, you know, being dirty. I can start cleaning up and you just get off your ass and start doing stuff. So every one of us, if we don't want to clear all that old stuff, who you want to be developing the personality is like a muscle. You have to work at it every single day, acting as if, but you put in the work. You decide who you want to be, how would you like to act, and every single day you put in a little bit more effort into being that. And it's getting out of your comfort zone because you're changing the story. It is not how you used to be. It is not how you used to feel. But from now on, you decide that you want to be a different person. You have to work at it. You have to get out of your comfort zone. You have to act differently because it's no longer the old story. It's, it's the new one where you might be more courageous. You might be a bit more outgoing. You might have an easier time communicating. The old story of where your beliefs didn't work and you had a hard time speaking up for yourself? Well, fuck that. Become more expressive. And it might be hard, but you start saying, it's so hard to say, but I'm gonna. And you speak through tears and you speak through however hard it is to express yourself, but you say that one thing and you'll feel better. So if looking at a stuff that, oh, I have to solve all that crap, you don't have to. If you don't want to, you don't have to. You just choose to change from this moment on if it's what you like and you start behaving differently. But... There's a lot to it. Yeah, there really is. There's so many different dynamics. And you got a person like me again. It's like, what's going on here? What was I doing before I got here? Do I want to ask that question from the linear perspective or above time perspective? If it's linear, I'm asking, 
what am I doing here? What was I doing before? And uh, what am I going to do now? What, what did I decide to do when I came here? What, what's that about? Okay, that's linear. Well, because last time, blah, 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 blah. So next time, that's, that's linear time. Okay. You can ask the same question from a higher perspective. Uh, and that would be like, we're in all timelines and all reality systems simultaneously. This is, I don't normally do this myself. <laughs> don't do what I do, do what I preach. <laughs> but no, this is, you can do this. I might, I might give it a shot. Uh, it's like, okay, while focusing in on this beingness of this aspect of self, uh, if I am suffering, what am I getting out of that? And how long shall I suffer? Uh, and uh, have I suffered long enough? You know, for if, you know, if the idea is to, if you look in, if you incarnate into a, a, a realm of suffering, war, you know, this world is just like completely fucked. Yeah, it's like really cruel and evil and weird. A lot of people, and it's really hard to manage. But why would a being like you or me from above time choose to experience this kind of phenomena? Not to experience happiness. This is a place of suffering. But it might be to mm, experience the challenge and develop some new skills and abilities on how do I navigate this or how do I confront and experience this phenomenon I've never felt before. I never felt suffering before. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's an exercise in uh, experience and expansion. Yes, precisely. Like. <laughs> okay. Well, on a similar note, Richard, I did to say it. Um, I'm truly thankful, like Fidel and Rich. I'll definitely work on my assumptions and beliefs, and I'll focus on methods you gave. Everything you said matches. That was too much indeed, and I'm so grateful. 